OntarioLevel.com here at the Hard Rock Cafe, standing here with the king of stock car racing, Richard Petty. Richard, your driving experience coming here to Canada, four tracks in total. For you, though, this is all about the fans, isn't it? Well, really it is. You know, we've had, there's so many race fans in Canada that come down to the Carolinas or go to Florida to see the races and stuff. And then we have a lot of fans come to the Richard Petty driving experience, but they have to take off and take a day to get where they're going, a day at the racetrack, and then a day home. And so, he said, you know, a lot of these people would like to do it, can't afford the, the time to do it. So we said, okay, with all those fans in Canada, let's just take our deal on the show on the road and we'll go to Canada and see see what's going on. So this is a way uh, the guy can sort of slip off one day of work or something and come over to the driving experience, do this thing and go home and uh, not not take that much time. So it, there's, like I said, there's so many fans here. We said, okay, we'll just take it to where they're at and uh, hopefully it works out for everybody. Now in the States, they get to run some of the big tracks, but short track racing really is that what it's at. That's what we cover on OntarioOval.com, and uh, it's going to be a cool experience for fans to get behind the wheel of a car on a short track. It's a tight confines. Well, yeah, you know, the sensation of speed is, is going to be the same. When you run Daytona, you run 200 mile an hour, 180, everything's big. It's way away from you. And we used to, and I, I tell them to use this, we, we used to go to Martinsville. Right after we went to Talladega, I felt like we was running faster at Martinsville, which is a half-mile track, because the fence is right there on each side of you, and the corner's going back that way. So you get the sensation of speed just as much on a short track, if not more so, than you do on a super speedway. Now the fans that uh, get a ride, they'll get a ride behind one of the wheels of uh, the current uh, type cup cars. But if you had a, a, a car over back over the years, back in the day that you drove, that you thought would be cool for fans to get behind, which car do you think would be the most fun for a fan to get behind? Well, it's really hard to say because we, we went through the whole mechanism. We, we ran stock cars to begin with, and they just kept getting more and more race cars, and you know they kept getting safer. Uh, the whole deal, so. You know, it's really hard to say because you got the cars now. NASCAR's got the way they are, and our cars are. They got so dead got much horsepower, and they got big tires on them and stuff. Where we used to didn't have that much horsepower. Had skinny tires. They got power steering now, and air conditioning. They got the whole the deal where we had to kind of tough it out. But the the times have changed, so it's really hard to pick one one car out. I mean, like my favorite car was probably like a. 82 or 72, 73 Dodge somewhere along there because we, we had a lot of success with the car, won a bunch of races, and, and the car drove good on a short track or a super speedway or road course. So that's probably the best handling car we've ever had. So if I guess if I had to pick a car and put people in it, they'd, they'd probably be more comfortable in that car than any of the rest of them we had. All right. Thank you very much, Richard. We look forward to your driving experience coming to Canada. That's uh, Richard Petty, the king of stock car racing here in Toronto. I'm Greg Kellner for OntarioLoval.com.